Good morning. Here we are, another wonderful morning, another wonderful day, and another piece of writing. This time, I'm going to take you the opposite way around. I'm going to give you the random words that I had to write with, and then I'll read my piece and see if you can spot the random words. Here we go. Aspen, Seattle, Clarity, Adjust, Spring, Beginning, Invigorating, and Cuddle. And the piece of writing that came from that was this. One day at a time, that's the story of how I did it. I remember landing on day 51 thinking, this is amazing. I'm almost at 60 days. How did this happen? 51 is longer than Lent, but not quite two months. I wonder if I could have done it somewhere else. Aspen? Seattle? Probably not. Too cold, too snowy, too rainy. I'd have been depressed. I had no clarity about what was happening, just that I needed to get it done one day at a time. I began at the beginning and put one flip-flop foot in front of the other. Bravery wasn't an issue. I had no idea where I was going and what I was doing, but I was damned if I wasn't going to give it my best. It would mean I'd courageously tried. Pass or fail, I tried. That's how I felt on days one through ten. It felt almost like going to war at times. The images of battle-torn soldiers in their own, in their torn clothes and camouflaged helmets. One of them had a number 51 on his, and that's why when I reached day 51, that image came thundering back into my head. There was nothing cuddly about either image. Just like him, there were days when my heart was beating hard and sweat f fell from my brow. It was spring, and everything in Las Colinas was beginning to burst with new growth. Trees with whispers of blossoms, rose bushes thick with buds, invigorating winds which blew away the cobwebs now that no longer wanted to cuddle near the fireplace. No more fires in that grate. It was too beautiful and I wanted to adjust to the outdoors in this new season of my life as I was seeing everything in such clarity. What I was doing wasn't for everyone, whether it was one person, 51 or 201, Everyone had to want it. Maybe needed it too. Sorry, maybe they needed it too. But the needing doesn't always come hand in hand with the wanting. By wanting it, you have to commit. So this week, just like on that other first day, I'm wanting this new thing. This thing that appears to be aligning with my purpose. I believe I was made for things. I was. My goodness, I'm having a tough day today. I think I'm getting emotional. I believe I was made for this and for the things that will come with it. Goodness me, what a way to stumble. But that's all right because I want it. I wrote this a couple of weeks ago, shortly after joining the Hay House community. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And I wish you some happy, productive writing. I'm off to write myself. See you soon. Bye.